not gonna change that. <laughs> it's really hard for some people to accept. Like, you're not gonna change that. Uh, this one is kind of infamous. 1.7 million? What's up, guys? James Casino Chocolate Man in Thailand. And today's edition of Balcony Banter is going to be about safe face culture. Do you understand what safe face culture is and why it's so important? Uh, not just in Thailand, but it's kind of like a, an Asian thing, you know. And uh, it's, it's usually something that's very difficult for Westerners, Western educated, Western society types, you know, people who just basically haven't been raised in Asia or Southeast Asia to understand. And you got to look at it like this, you know, accountability is not the biggest priority over here. You know, taking responsibility for things that, uh, you know, you may or may not have had control of is a big deal. So you got to look at it like when you come over here, don't try to change that. It's not going to change no matter how much you stop, kick, argue, fight, you know, whine, bitch, moan, complain. It's not going to change. It's just the way it is. You know, I mean, the most basic way to talk about it is like in the in the event of a traffic accident, you get into a traffic accident, you know, even if it's two ties, it doesn't matter. Getting a traffic accident here, you know, that's when the finger pointing happens. Nobody wants to take responsibility, even though there might be video evidence that shows clearly it was your fault. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're going to be like, why didn't you why did you run into me? Uh, why didn't you see me? My brakes failed. Uh, that pole shouldn't have been there. That hole wasn't marked. You're gonna see that all the time here in Thailand when it comes to like accidents, personal accountability, things like that where well, it's clearly an individual's responsibility or their fault, but they're gonna try and pass that blame on to something else, to anything they can do to make sure that it doesn't fall on them. And that's just the culture, guys. It's just the way it is. It doesn't sound right, it seems wrong, but that's just the way they grew up. That's the way they're you know, that's the way they've seen their families do things. They see their friends do things. So that's what they do. That's the way their society has come together. And that's not a negative thing. That's not a, that's not a critique on Southeast Asian society. That is just the way it is. You know, they may come over to our country and see the way we do things. And there's things that they don't understand. Like, how can you do that? You know, like, why don't you take care of your elderly parents better why don't you do this better how come your friends don't stay with you and you cook more or you, you know I mean just little things that they do you know that's completely normal to them but to us it's not our normal you know and that's that's something you gotta get you're gonna have to get over when you get over here you're gonna have to just realize that they do things differently they have different feelings about things they have different ideas about things they apply their laws differently than we do. You're not gonna change that. <laughs> it's really hard for some people to accept. Like, you're not gonna change that. You know, and I'm, I'm just as guilty. I'm just, I drive around, like, again, driving is like the perfect example. You drive here, you're like, why do they do that? Why do they pull right out? Why do they stop in the middle of the road? Why are they backing up on the freeway? That's just whether, you know, even though they have laws against it, it's not like really enforced and they know it's not enforced, so they go against it. And that's just the way they do things, guys. It's just the way they do things. So uh, don't come over here with this, or try to, like, everybody does it, everybody does it. You're gonna come over and you be like, man, I'm gonna change this dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna educate these people and I'm gonna make them better. I'm gonna make them understand that, that that's wrong, that they shouldn't do things like that. Everybody does it, everybody does it. At some point, you have to give up that fight. <laughs> At some point, you've got to let it go. It's not gonna work out for you. You're not gonna change culture here you're not gonna do it you're not gonna change the status quo it's not gonna happen it's up to their government and just like us growing up as kids you know whether we want to admit it or not we listen to our government government told us we had to wear seat belts government told us you know we need to eat so many servings of what kind of food every day uh, government tells us we got to do this do that we got to pay our taxes whatever we listen to our governments whether we want to or not because it's a societal norm if we want to live in a society, we have to follow societal norms, whether we want to admit it or not. Of course, you got your outliers and your rebels out there. It's all good. Cool. If you're a rebel, good on you, man. I'm glad you're a rebel. I'm glad you're fighting the power. All good. But most of us just want to live within the rules. So you got to learn over here that they have a different set of rules. They have different societal norms. Just go along, get along. I can't, uh, I can't say it any simpler than that. Go along, get along, and try to learn it, try to understand it and don't try to fight it. <laughs> it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It'll be up to the Thai government to put things out there. Like they just now mandated uh, child safety seats in cars. 
And I know some people are like, what? We've had that in our country for 30 years. We've had it for 20 years, you know. We've saved so many babies and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's our country. That's our culture. <laughs> that's our government. That's not their government. This is when they, they are now deciding that that's an important thing to them. So they're addressing it. Is what it is, guys. Is what it is. All right. Anyway, that's enough of me whining. Hope you, uh, hope you get my point here. I know I'm a little all over the place, but I uh, hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, the biggest thing is just don't come over here thinking that you're going to change things. You know, that's the, the simplest rule I can give you. Don't, don't, you know, you're going to have to go along with it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. Anyway, i uh, got to go meet up with the fellas. It's Taco Tuesday. Let's get some eats on. I'll talk a little bit more about Taco Tuesday when we get down there. Good event. Great people. Let's have some fun. What's up, guys? Soy 13.4. Checking out the Soy 13s today. Why is there... A soy 13, one, two, three, and four, I don't know. Maybe we can get to the bottom of that at some point in this video. But anyway, why doesn't anybody come down here, you might ask? Well, actually, a lot of people do. You just don't see it in a whole lot of videos. I don't know why. I don't know why. There's a lot going on down here in the 13 soys. Uh, today, we're going to Sue's place down here. I'll show you that in a minute to have our Taco Tuesday. Let's look at some of the other things they have here on soy 13 plus one, two, three, four. Okay, let's check them out, all right? Walking down here, this is 13.4. Uh, this one is kind of infamous, and we'll get to that in a minute, but they do have some, hey, what's up? Uh, this one's a little infamous because of something down here, but we'll get to that in a second. But anyway, we got the classroom bar over here, and the classroom is pretty classy. It is a huge place, it's very nice. Check that place out. It's huge. Plus, they have a hotel in there. That's great. Then you got Tarka food. Tarka House Indian food right here, absolutely delicious. So good. Here's some that haven't survived, and these were kind of dead before COVID, so they didn't really survive, but maybe they're coming back someday. They had like obsessions and kittens, and these were kind of like go-go's and whatnot, but I don't know. They haven't been open in some time, as far as I know. Then we get down to this area over here. Okay, yeah, I think everybody knows <laughs> what that means there. We got Boys Town. If that's your thing, all oh, good. That is back open now. There are There is some activity down there at night now. I've driven past here and seen that. It's all good. Hotels, restaurants down here. But uh, yeah, just as soon as we have lunch, we'll go check out some other spots here. But let's go check out Sue's uh, Mexican food here. Oh, I think it's going to be delicious. I haven't ate here in a long time, but it's a great place. 13-4 Sue's place right here. Check it out. I'm not on your everyday list. Checking out the inside of Sue's here. I think they moved. I don't think this was their original place or was twice as wide or they've renovated. I don't know. It looks different than when I ate here a long time ago. It was, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I ate here, but when I ate here a couple of years ago, it was really delicious. There's just so many other options here in Patia. You end up eating in different places. Never made it back here, but hey, we're back. We're going to check it out. I'll share it with you guys in a second. Pretty good crowd today for Taco Tuesday. Um, hard to explain how you guys get into this group. It's a Facebook group or like a Facebook chat everybody's in. So they announce a Taco Tuesday and talk about where they're going to go. You know, then after throughout the week, what they're going to do. Then usually after they do their little Taco Tuesday meet up here, they go out and uh, pub crawl and all that. But if you're in town, if you're in Patty, it's going to be a little easier for you to join. Someone will add you and throw you in the in the uh, chat group, and then you're a member. And then you can, you know, it's not any fees or money or anything like that. You get thrown into this group. They announce where it's at. You go. That's all it is. It's that simple. But, uh, just just basically a bunch of friends and you know random people who live here in Patty that want to meet up and go get some eats. Pretty simple. Pretty simple thing though. But if you're in Patty, you see me on the streets. Ask me how to get in. Maybe I can throw you in the group. All right. All right, guys. Hey, here we are with the owner of Sue's Place. Can you tell us a little bit about Sue's Place? Uh, Sue's Place have been open for 40 years. 40 years? Wow, okay. Amazing. 
And then I'm a daughter, her, her daughter. Yeah, you're I her live, daughter, right? I live in Denmark for 26 years. Denmark, yes? Yeah. 26 years, yes. wow, amazing. Yeah. Cool. And then I start to make YouTube for six years ago. You're a YouTuber? Yes. Wow, <laughs> can you tell us about your channel? Uh, my channel is uh, about Denmark. About Denmark, okay. Yes. Do you have many followers? Yeah, I have one. One point seven million? Yeah. Really? Okay, guys, I'm gonna link that down below for sure. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> My channel is uh, about Denmark, about show Thai people uh, how I live in Denmark. Okay, so it's like for Thai people, right? Yes, the for channel, Thai people. But who want to live overseas and uh, see about Denmark? Ten percent in USA. Really? That's okay. Ten percent. Okay, awesome. Yes, almost awesome. in uh, Thailand. Awesome. Yeah. Really cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Come check out Sue's Place, guys. As you can see, wow, 1.7 million followers on YouTube. I'll definitely have that link down below as well as her Facebook. But come in here to Sue's Place on Soy 13.4 here in Patia. We had a really good meal. You guys saw the food. It was excellent. Come check it out. Okay, guys. Anyway, we're going to keep it bumbling and stumbling around town or something. I don't know. Stay tuned. All right, what up, y'all? This is Darren. Ratty Boy on YouTube. There you go. One more YouTube before you. We'll have his link down below too. But let's check out his food. That look all right. Look at the tacos. There's nothing but cheese on there. I think you got some meat in there. Yeah, it look a little meaty in it. Go ahead and take a bite. Go ahead and take a bite. Let's see what he's talking about. Yeah, come on. You can do it. No pressure. <laughs> Put it all in your mouth, Darren. Come on. A big ass, a fistful of this See. All right, another successful Taco Tuesday here at Sue's Place. All right, link down below for the location. Had a great time with the peeps. I am going to still walk around here in the uh, 13 area, show you guys what's down here. I don't know, some of you might have been here, some of you didn't even notice what's here. Maybe to help some people, maybe be nostalgic for some. All good, let's go do it anyway. All right. All right, here we go, 13-3. This soy isn't too busy. Got a lot of uh, Indian restaurants down here. I think this was uh, kind of an Indian hangout before. Not quite sure if it's still doing that kind of flavor or what's going on. There is a little cut through back over to 13-4 though. Good to see that. Looks like they got a show bar here, but I don't think it's open. Super show bar. Yeah, that looks like it's happening. And yeah, a couple of uh, couple of other type joints down there at the other end. Not too exciting on this one. So let's go over to the next one and see what's going on. All uh, right. In case you didn't know, though, now you know. Oh, this is the VFWs on this uh, on this location. That's a big one for a lot of people here. The VFW is right here too. VFW, Fred J. Estes, Post ninety eight seventy six, right there at Lewinsky's. Cool. down on soy 13 one now sorry we skipped two we'll get back to that one it's just the way the streets are laid out i got stuck going here first this one is uh pretty busy it's a lot going on down on this little street here we got all kinds of bars pubs restaurants all kinds of stuff going on here a lot of international type place like Scandi scandinavia norway that type of stuff so that's cool digging it digging it digging it yeah Interesting down here. There's a pretty good vibe down here. It's actually pretty busy. Actually pretty busy. There's a lot of folks just hanging out. A lot of sports bar kind of activity happening. Yeah, it might be your scene down here. Got some tattoo shops. Very nice, very nice. It is a lively little soy. Uh, you guys could probably tell me what 13 one is. The famous hops bar is down here. I don't think this is Yamato. Yeah, this is Soy Yamato. Okay, that's right. Soy Yamato. I've almost got it together today. I've almost got it together. I did just eat, so I'm ready for my nap. So I ain't quite got everything down there. Yeah, there's a Yamato restaurant right there. All right, and there's the Hops Brew House. As far as I know, this place is still open and absolutely killing the game. Really good uh, Bavarian food, I believe. Don't quote me on that. International flavors in there for sure, though. For wrong food. Whatever works for you, but yeah. All right, so that's 13-1. Let's go make it over to 13-2. See what they got going on over there. All right. All right, we had weaved our way through traffic and now on 13-2, more uh, commonly known as Soy Post Office. That's what's up. Patia Post. There it is. 
I still got to go in there and find out about the uh, post office box. See the one over there at the mall for the post office box, but I might be able to get a post office box there too. Anyway, we'll find out about it later. But a few, uh, few bars, a few restaurants down here as well, as, lot, as well as a lot of massage shops, if that's the thing you're looking for. Want to get a good massage. Some of y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, a little quieter down here. Definitely 13-1 seemed like to be the popping spot down here during the daytime. But there are more than a few places to hang out down here. Not too terrible. A lot of traffic down this road, unfortunately. So watch your toes if you're hanging out down here. Don't get run over, <laughs> which could happen. People aren't always looking so well here. So yeah, you kind of want to have eyes in the back of your head walking down some of these toys. It could get a little crazy. There's the Hotel Barracuda down there. Really nice spot. Used to have a friend that stayed there all the time. Really good really good uh, hotel. Good option for you, right next to the avenue. Great access to food, movie theaters, central part of town, if you're into that. Okay. Anyway, guys, that was a tour of the uh, tour of the uh, 13s. We'll just call it the 13s, the 13 toys down here. Other options, you know, if you don't want to go all the standard places everywhere go, everybody goes, these might be a little more your speed or a little more specific to your country as well. A lot of these places are themed, you know, whether it's French or Scandinavian or Norwegian or whatever. There's all, there's like a theme to a lot of these bars, especially that European theme. So that might be a little more to your liking. Maybe you want to hang around your countrymen or get certain kinds of foods or certain types of drinks. This might be the place for you. Come on down and check it out. Woo. As I'm trying to navigate a cone down there. <laughs> you probably heard me say it many times on my videos. You got to have, you got to have like a span of vision or something. You know, you got to be able to look up, down, behind you, in front of you, left and right, all at the same time. Especially when you're trying to vlog or you fall in a hole or walk into something. All right, guys. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour. I'm out of here.